Hello and welcome to Sport This Morning. I'm Cecilia Omogbe. It's great to have you join us again. I'm Taya Salam. We get started with the show, the Governor's Cup Final. It's on Saturday. That's tomorrow. And of course, one man is targeting another title. He won the first leg and now he wants to win the second leg. I'm talking about Enrique Lopez Perez. He's a Spaniard. and he was here four years ago. And this time around, he's also targeting the double because he just wants to increase his ATP rankings and get back to play in Grand Slam. Yeah, Cecilia, I mean, um, it would be very hard for anyone to stop this guy yeah. right here. There's a reason why he's the number one seed in this competition. Yeah, definitely. And also on the program, we'll be taking a look at this man, Luis Suarez. I mean, when he was in England, everyone felt, okay, he's not so good. But he went to Barcelona, and right now he's won the Golden Shoes, scoring 40 goals in a season. And of course, he had to thank his teammate because he says... They actually made this possible. Mm, yeah, I mean, um, expectedly we knew he was going to win it. You know, when you know he scored all those goals last season playing for Barcelona. I mean, for him to win this award ahead of a player like Cristiano Ronaldo, who is a goal machine, uh, you have to give Luis Suarez a lot of credit for that one. Also on the show uh, from you know Luis Suarez, we go to the Europa League. Uh, Cecilia Redo United. <laughs> I mean, United were on fire, you know, last night when they played against Fenerbahce. That match ended 4-1 in favor of uh, Manchester United. Paul Pogba was on fire as well. So he had two goals, as well as Jesse Lingard and Anthony Martial. Yeah, definitely. We'll come back to that in much more. But first, we'll start with the Governor's Cup, where a lot happened yesterday. Well, <laughs> Enrique Lopez, he says, look... I'm still the best when it comes to tennis. I'm talking about Governor's Cup. Yep. Four years ago, he was here. He won it first leg and second, second leg. And, of course, he started playing Grand Slam. And right now, he's back again because he was out for a while injured. And he just wants to have more rankings again. Get back to playing Grand Slam again and get, you know, much fitness and everything. And there was something he said about Nigerian player after he won this game against a uh, massage smaller and that game ended seven six seven five which was really a tough one for him but he said something after the game he said look playing all these guys is okay but playing against nigerian players is even more difficult now unlike what happened four years ago so mm. it simply means nigerian players are really improving when it comes to this tournament mm, yes yeah, cecilia i mean he's got he's got a point um but they are improving they're not improving enough you know to get to the uh, championship rounds of this particular competition. Like I said, uh, the first leg, we had uh, a couple of quarter-finalists. Uh, the second leg, no quarter-finalists at all. So it's safe to say that Nigerian players are taking baby steps. Yeah, we're waiting for that time when they will start taking giant steps. We'll start seeing them in the semifinals and in the final. At the moment, they're not at that level yet. And that's why uh, these guys keep coming every year uh, to dominate um, the Lagos Governor's Cup. Cecilia, it's not all about Enrique uh, Lopez Perez because um, we had other quarterfinal matches that were played, you know, um, yesterday. And we have... Um, Perez obviously won his own game, you know, he's true to the semi-finals and Cecilia, there were other, uh, other guys that made it to the semi-finals as well too. Yeah, definitely you have a, a Kumar Mahmoud of India, you know, defeating, uh, he actually lost to yeah, Moore, he lost out, he yeah. lost out uh, yeah. six, four, 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 six, 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 four. four. I mean, that was actually a close one for him against the Tunisian guy. Yeah. Uh, you, you know, uh, that one ended in three sets. Of course, yeah, you have a Gianni. Mina. Yeah, Gianni, Gianni Mina. Yeah, he's uh, true to the um, semifinals after beating Karim Mohamed 6-2 six, six to, um, to Love. He actually retired okay. in that particular one there so because he got injured and he couldn't carry on. Also true to the next round, you have Calvin Emery beating Boy West of Sicilia. Yeah, and the six Netherlands guy six two, <laughs> six seven, six one. So uh, all those guys have made it to the semifinals of the Lagos Governor's Cup. Yeah, the ladies were in action as well, Cecilia. Yeah, definitely. Julia from Bulgaria obsessing number four seed Valeria Strakova of Ukraine in straight set of six love, six four. And of course she had to set up a semi final tie against the first leg winner I'm talking about Tadeja Majerik from Slovakia, uh, she was able to beat uh, the lady from Omar, Fatma Al Namiba, in the quarterfinals. It was really a nice run for most of the ladies. But the thing is, the lady who won the first, uh, the first leg, she's out. Yes. So I think all eyes will definitely be on Valeria right now because she's another uh, 
player that is really, you know, doing the thing so well. Yep, okay, that's it that's for it. the Governor's Cup, which yeah. is listening to Enrique talking about Nigerian players. And also, it's the fact, the reason why he had to come back to Governor's Cup and about Rafael Nadal, who has actually ended his season in October. Ah, well, yeah, four years ago I came first time and I won both. And uh, well, it was a long time ago and then I, I think I improved a lot my game. So um, I was injured, I decided, okay, I, I want to go again, Lagos, I, I like the tournament, so I came again. And now, yeah, I think maybe I'm favorite for win, but in tennis you never know, because matches is so close. Now I just finished one match really close, last week was so tough, so I have to fight for try to win again. And if I win the tournament, I, then my, my, the points are okay for me. If I lose before, uh, then it's not doesn't make a lot of sense, but... But uh, if always I will play, I want to win, so it's okay. If wins is always good. Actually, I was... Okay. Uh, maybe we'll get back to that interview again. Mm. Uh, well, he just had some technical <laughs> issues there. Yeah. Okay, I mean, I love what he said about Nigerian players. I mean, he was going to like... The first time he came, it was easy to play them. But this time around, it's very difficult. They picked about six of them that are really improving in their games. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, but you said they're taking baby steps, right? Yeah, well, well I, I, think... I, made my, I said <laughs> what I was supposed to say about that already. Yeah, I mean, they're getting better, but it's not yeah. just enough uh, at the moment. I mean, we've seen players like Sylvester Emmanuel, uh, Clifford as well, who is a very decent player. But um, they all they make the quarterfinals of the second leg of the Governor's Cup. So uh, they have the work cut out, uh, definitely Cecilia, for them to start competing uh, with players like Enrique Lopez. Yeah, that's the way it's going to be. For the Governor's Cup, the final, of course, is starting 12.30 tomorrow for the female players. And, of course, for the male, it's starting 3 p.m. tomorrow. The Governor, of course, is going to be there, and they're going to be having another exhibition game. Remember last year they had an exhibition game, the likes of Chief Shego and Debo, I mean, you know, they had to play uh, the tennis, and, of course, Fred Adere also. Fred Adere, you know, was the one who won the inaugural uh, event last year. The chairman of Lagos State Chapter of Sports Writers Association of Niger, he also will be playing. So that is going to start about 7 a.m. in the morning, then before the main event will start with the female, but will not be you no know, cheering up any Nigerian players, but these guys have actually come down to Lagos to see how they can improve their ranking and also help our own players, you know, to actually grow when it comes to international tournament because they don't have the time to the chance or rather the resources is the money to actually travel out of the country to play in different tours across the world. But with these players coming in here, so we can actually go to the stadium and cheer them to victory. I just want that long tennis court tomorrow to be filled up for the players to actually enjoy. You know, seeing the Lagos fans cheering them to victory, do definitely love that. So, right? Sunday, we should know if Ferris was able to make good his we'll promise of we'll wanting see. to win the two back to back. So, we'll talk about NUJ games now. Mm. It's starting on Monday. Yeah. And of course, most journalists are definitely ready. They want to be there. But well, Fermi Soledja is talking about the fact that, look, this game is going to be different because in table tennis, you're going to be having the doubles event. So, let's listen to him. Yes, I think in the last uh, five to six years, uh, <coughs> there has been a, a tremendous improvement in the general organization of the event. Because uh, interestingly, this year we're having more corporate bodies that uh, seems to be partnering in the event. And uh, as usual, uh, our fellow sportsmen and women, our colleagues, are getting more interested in taking part in the uh, annual games. And this year, uh, just like it happened last year, uh, we are having six, six sports, uh, having football, which is general, and that is the draw we just uh, had uh, some, some couple of minutes ago. And aside that, we have indoor games like, like uh, chess, Scrabble, Ayu, and uh, Drought. And uh, we also have uh, table tennis. Uh, and this year again, there is also an innovation in the table tennis games, because uh, in the past, we should have it individually. People come in and register. Uh, but now, aside the normal singles event, we also have, we also, we are think, uh, we are also having the team event, and we are hoping that our co our colleagues will comply with the timing, because uh, we are not going to officiate. Uh, we've given the job out to the various uh, technical committees of the various federations that are involved. So they are the ones that will decide 
that will educate in case there's any dispute so that we can have a very free flow, free flow of uh, events from Monday to Friday. Okay, that's the, uh, the NEJ game starting on Mondays to yeah. Friday, so journalists are definitely going to be busy. Yeah, they'll be busy, yeah. right? I mean, so I'm wondering now, where, which of the sports uh, will you be, you know, participating in? Lazy, are you? Yeah. So that's, uh, <laughs> I will be the footballer. <laughs>